Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Looking to change your life? Are you ready to release all your clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual? Our Declutter Your Life is a year-long how-to, go-at-your-own-pace workbook course to guide you through the process of clearing clutter also available by three-month individual topic. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Hey, everyone. Once again, I'm dipping into the archives this month, but this is a fun video. I wanted to share this clip that I did with my niece and nephew, who are around three and four at the time. They're about 14 months apart. Now, this is a very basic principle in organizing and decluttering. Everything has a home. Many of you who have heard me talk know that my niece Claire and nephew Max know that everything has its home, so I've invited them to share this principle with you. I've also gotten a lot of feedback that they're a lot cuter than I am, so enjoy this clip. Home is I know, right show. over here where we put our um, jackets jacket and shoes and, and, and coats. Okay, well show Max, where's the home for everything? Show, you got to show. Now, why do you guys put your jackets and everything and their shoes in your home? Why Max do you do put your stuff in its home? Why do you put your jackets and stuff there? Max is because, okay. because, um, uh, we, because if we don't put it in our homes, we can't find them. Very good, that's right. And if we don't put them in our home, then, um, if we lost our things, we will have to put them by the chair. That's right. That's right. What happens is Big J get cranky and says, put it in its home. Yes. <laughs> is that what he it's does? It's put, it, it's put it in its home. Okay. Hey. Don't know where to put it. Just put it by the chair. That's a good idea. Hello, right. everyone. Put your coats into the home. Even though this is something very simple and a basic principle for reducing your clutter, how often do we not put things back in their home? Look around your home or office right now. Is everything in its place? If something is necessary to be around, make sure it has a home. I wanted to show this clip with Claire and Max, who are now 10 and 9, and we also have Emma, because they learned this at such an early age to put things in their home. When they and Emma stay at my parents, they still put their backpacks and coats in the exact same chair. They know where it goes, so when they need to get out of the door in the morning to school, they can do so easily. I'm a firm believer of starting children young to reduce their clutter and help them stay organized. They will use these principles their entire lives and be less likely to accumulate clutter. Here are a couple things to remember. You want one consistent home. I have had many people who have had multiple homes for things, and then they can't remember which home they put their item in. My husband was trying to find checks the other day and searching for all these possibilities. I asked him what he was looking for and said they're in the check drawer. One consistent home for all the checks. Clutter can spread like wildfire. If you don't take 10 minutes daily to straighten up and put things back in their homes, make sure to make up for it with 30 minutes or so on the weekend. If you do it regularly, it becomes a habit. You'll feel better with a clutter-free environment and it will most likely become less of a chore. Other tips, keep an index file if you need to. As we age, this might become necessary and I put myself in that category and I'm not super old. I'm, I guess what we would now call middle age. Use clear containers so you can more easily see what you're looking for. Try putting things that you associate near each other, such as plain paper, notepads, notebooks, and stationery. So remember, anything that is necessary to keep around, make sure that it has a home. All right, everyone. Go out, 
clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.